Hey, what is up guys? It's me, Angel, and one of my favorite shows on Cartoon Network is Adventure Time. I remember when they aired the pilot back in 2008 on Nicktoons, and I remember when they aired the promo on Cartoon Network when this was going to be a new show. I was so hyped because it looked so familiar. I remember the good old days when I used to watch this show back in 2010. I was so obsessed with it, I couldn't get enough of it. But sadly, next month it will be airing its final episode, which is going to be sad to see a good show that I've been watching for 7 years. I mean, first we lost regular show and now Adventure Time is next. So today I'd like to share my top 10 entertaining Adventure Time episodes. First one on the list is Pew Hoy. So basically what happens in this episode, Jake is building a bunch of pillow forts with BMO and then Finn is bummed out because he told a joke to Flame Princess and this was back when Finn and Flame Princess were dating and then Flame Princess didn't get the joke so Finn just assumes that she has no interest in him anymore. So then Jake tells Finn that he's getting hung up on imaginary problems and he needs to see what's real and then Finn like he still feels upset and then he goes inside the pillow fort and then he ends up being in a pillow world full of pillow people very interesting stuff in this episode and then finn meets a girl named rosalind and then she asks him if he wants to dance with her and then he's like oh i have a girlfriend and then she's like it's dance it's not marriage silly and then it's kind of interesting because we get to see a new side of finn like he has a family with his pillow wife and his pillow kids and then at the same time he's trying to find out how to get home through some magical door because it disappeared in the beginning of the episode and then it's kind of sad because older rosalind tells older finn that if if you get home i just want you to remember us by and stuff but then he gives up on trying to find the door and then they go back home and then then older finn on his deathbed says how something i guess i don't remember what he said i think he said something good life or something and then and then he tells him i'm not dad and then his son's like dad you are dad and he's like no i'm not and then it's kind of gets all weird because he has like he's like floating through space or something and then later he wakes up in the episode and then he's about to tell jake the dream but then he gets a call from flame princess that he that she gets the joke and then jake wants to know the dream but then finn forgets the dream i can relate right there it's like one of those episodes you want to know what happens next like you want a part two to it but sadly you'll never get it like especially now since the series is about to end number nine freak city so in this episode we get introduced to magic man he turns Finn into a foot just because he won't appreciate how much of a jerk he is, which is kind of weird. And then Jake tries to convince Finn it's cool to be a foot. And it's kind of weird at the end of the episode, he actually wants to be a foot, which is... It's never really revealed why, but I kind of want to know in a way. <laughs> so in this episode, Finn is trying to save a village that's on fire, but then the villagers they call him a freak and then they throw him under a bridge and then he gets upset because he's not a freak he's a hero and then they meet a group of other people who have suffered the same fate from magic man and then finn convinces them to go find them and get turned back but they feel like magic man is too powerful then jake agrees with them and says that yeah we should just live a life like this under this bridge with these rats and stuff and then finn just lays down and sings a song I kind of like the song. Basically, the song is about him giving up because he's a foot, because he can't be a hero. But then he says that he's not going to give up. He kicks everyone outside the bridge to go find them. But then he realizes that they should all combine together. And then one of the funniest parts is when he's like, Kim, get underneath Trudy. And then Kim is like, no, man, please. I freaking hate Trudy and then Finn's like Kim I will destroy you <laughs> that was pretty funny right there I remember that this is something I missed from the older episodes of Adventure Time number eight my two favorite people so Jake's problem in this episode is he spends too much time with Finn so he misses out a lot of his time with his girlfriend Lady Rainicorn and then when he hangs out with Lady Rainicorn he gets to miss out on fun things like go fight monsters and junk with finn and then shelby gives him an idea to just hang out with both of them at the same time so then they have a picnic near a fire lake thing and then finn has a hard time trying to understand what lady rainicorn is saying 
because she speaks Korean and only Jake can understand. And then Jake gets a good idea to go find a translator underwater somewhere. And I find it funny how the only settings on the translator is Nightmare, which sounds horrifying. And then the other one is Old Man, which kind of sounds funny. And it kind of fits her voice in a way. And then Nerdy Alien, which you can't even understand. And then later in the episode, Jake feels left out because mostly Finn and Lady Rainicorn are the, are the ones having fun in this episode. And then this and that. And then Jake feels left out and jealous. But what kind of sucks is Lady Rainicorn doesn't really appear in that much episodes. Like, I mean, she does, but like, she there's never been one episode where it's just all about her. Like, we got an episode about Bemo, we got an episode about Ice King, Marceline, but never about Lady Rainicorn. I mean, like, there could be a way to do that, but they just never did it, and that kind of sad to hear that. Number seven, Marceline's closet. Oh man, this is just a good one right here. In this episode, Finn and Jake go inside Marceline's house all because of Jake. And then they end up hiding in her closet because they think if they get caught, they're going to get killed by her. So in this episode, they're all freaking out because they keep on hearing Marceline's personal biz and junk. And then Jake tries to escape in one part, but then a spider comes out. And then I kind of find it funny how the spider just pushes a lamp. Like it's able to push a lamp and just break it. And probably the most shocking parts of this episode and funniest is when Finn accidentally goes in Marceline's bathroom and he sees Marceline, so you know what. And what's really dumb in the final part of this episode, they're about to escape because Marceline's asleep. And then Finn does one of the most dumbest things and says, is she awake? Like, really, Finn? Like, why are you going to say that? Like, it's your perfect opportunity to escape. And what I like about this episode, it was just one of those episodes where it was just like a small situation. I mean, it was like a big situation, but it's not like an episode where they just go on a big adventure and fight monsters and junk. It was just, it was just so simple. They were just trapped in the closet and there was no way for them to escape. Bemo loss. This is one of those episodes that doesn't have Finn and Jake in it, and it's still interesting. Like, this is probably one of the best ones. In this episode, Bemo gets lost in the woods, and then he meets a, a bubble named Bubble. Okay. And then he meets a cute baby, which he names Ricky, but his real name is Sparkle, and that's what the Bubble wanted him to name him. This episode is interesting because it's just the episode where Bemo, it's just like him and these two characters, which aren't annoying and are just like great like ricky he's such a cute baby like there was this one scene where he would like start get all fussy and crying like that was so cute right there i felt like smashing through my tv and comforting him and bubble he's a cool character he's just a calm character like he's not annoying or irritating to watch but and then he ends up falling in love with bemo which sadly jake pops him but sadly it kind of sucks because i kind of wish we would have seen more of bobo like i wish we could have seen him in more episodes but then jake pops him and then he becomes air and then he starts to become weird like he's like there's no privacy there's no quiet i just be going following you in every room forever and ever and then Bimo's like yay like what the heck that was really hilarious right there like he sounded all weird at the end of the episode <laughs> next is breezy man this is just another great episode like finn is bummed out because he lost his arm and he lost his girlfriend flame princess this and that going on and then he starts singing a song how he feels lost in the darkness and it's a great song and then a bee named breezy like sees his flower in his hand and then she pretty much falls in love with the flower and then like finn and breezy just become best buds and then finn starts hanging out with a bunch of girls in this episode then near the end of the episode finn tells breezy that he doesn't love her that way and then breezy feels upset and she flies away and then finn later he's just asleep in the woods then breezy like honeys him a new arm and then finn grows his arm back and then probably the best part was the final song in the final of the episode like that was probably a good thing to add now let's get straight into too young this episode is just entertaining to watch like i really thought princess bubblegum was gonna stay 13 but sadly she didn't but then lemon grab shows up and he becomes the new 
king of the candy kingdom just because he's old and princess go bubblegum is too young which is kind of weird because in future episodes lemon grab is seen weird so i'm surprised he can even become king and then princess bubblegum um uh, and finn they have to like come up with pranks so they can prank lemon grab so then he can just leave but all his pranks all the pranks just fail and then he just sends everyone to the dungeon and it just sucks because princess bubblegum as a 13 year old she actually had a feelings for finn but i just missed these old episodes where finn actually had a crush on princess bubblegum but well not when he was like crazy obsessed like he started crying in junk and they actually kissed in this episode but sadly when she turned back to their 18 year old self she was just back to being regular princess bubblegum and she had no feelings for finn she was like finn silly that was five years ago you really gotta move on like it was just sad to see that i mean it was still an entertaining episode to watch for its time mortal foley and mortal recoil had to be number three like these two episodes are basically the same i liked it because they actually made an episode where finn actually well, Finn and Jake have to deal with an actual threat, like, it makes you think, like, wow, it's actually gonna be, like, a story arc, even though it's only two episodes, and then Princess Bogum's in it, and then you think, like, wait, is Finn and Princess Bubblegum gonna be a couple, and then Ice King kidnaps Princess Bubblegum, the lovable Ice King, and it's just hilarious, and all this and that, and then the fight with the Lich and Finn is just great where he has that gauntlet and then mortal recoil the episode where princess bubblegum falls into the pit and then she becomes all messed up possessed by the lich and then they have to stop her and then she becomes 13 years old and then hugs finn and says give me a hug hero and evicted man this episode just has to be number two like we get introduced to one of the best characters and that's marceline like in this episode finn and jake are just chilling at home and then marceline shows up and then she starts off all cool and junk like saying she traveled all over ooh and this and that and then she tells him she kicks them out because pretty much she says the tree house belongs to her and then finn and jake are just trying to find a new home and then that hilarious song plays and then they live in that cave and then finn and then she finds them for some reason and then finn and marceline fight at the end it's just such a great episode like like i just this is what i miss about the older episodes like the older episodes had a good style to it like it was just how, how it is now but nowadays episode i'm not trying to bash on them but they're just kind of different than how they were in the past slumber party panic this episode is hands down one of the best episodes the first episode is the best princess bubblegum is trying to make an experiment where she can bring all the dead candy people back to life but then it turns into complete chaos and they come back as zombies it's just so great like finn it revolves around finn and princess bubblegum trying to solve this zombie problem then jake is just trying to like figure out what's going on this and that but it's a royal promise because if he tells them what happens and everyone freezes then er everything restarts this and that i just like the it gave off a good vibe the first time watching this like and like i said in the beginning of this video i was so hyped when this show was gonna start and this show delivered real good in this episode it's just the best like it's just sad that this show is gonna end soon anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video you can like and subscribe i'll highly appreciate that and it's just sad that this show's gonna end soon like even in that the theme song of the show it says adventure time come on grab your friends go to bury distant lands jake the dog and finn the human the fun will never end adventure time like you hear that the fun will never end but sadly it's gonna end